Hey guys, it's day 19 of Vida! <laughs> Today, and I have to leave for work in like 40 minutes so I'm gonna try and make this a shorter video than yesterday's I think I tend to think that my videos are always super short and then when I edit them they're, they end up like seven eight minutes long and I'm like what happened <sighs> god I'm gonna be so hideously boring today one minute meet little Ben <laughs> oh hold on so this is my memory box Lots of stuff that I like. I don't know why there's a face mask in here. Um, I bought this when I was in England, and I've just kind of kept it in my memory box this whole time. I've not used it. This is uh, a story thing that me and Lucy wrote together, um, sort of, in a way. I'm not going to explain it. This is my plane ticket from London to Toronto. <laughs> um, I went to England with a program called SWAP. If you don't know what SWAP is, you should, and you're interested in working in Europe or the United Kingdom or Ireland. I guess Ireland is part of Europe. Anyways, check out SWAP. It's a Canadian thing though, you have to be Canadian. Uh, yeah, so I got a bunch of cool stuff like this. Scotland, wild and sexy. I said that with an English accent. It was supposed to be Scottish. Oh well. Um, yeah, so it's for Haggis Adventures, and I really wanted to go, but I didn't have the money for any of the fun stuff that they were doing. I wish I could have participated in Swap more, but I'd have had to have lived in London or much closer to London for that to have happened. Um, that's just that's my Swapper's Guide to Britain. I'm gonna keep this forever. Um, Celtic times, I really wanted to go to this thing. Uh, London Dungeons. Um, this is just a bunch of posts and stuff that's from England. Um, and like, plane tickets and random things in here. Um, oh, there's a concert ticket in here. Elliot Minor! That was a good gig. It was their last gig they ever played. Um, they're on hiatus, don't know if they'll ever come back, but really good gig. It was Ali's last gig, because that's when he left the band, and it was awesome. I'm really happy I went. Uh, this is just like a bunch of swap papers in here too, because this is the, um, the Bunak. Um, Bunak are swaps partners in, in London, so I, went, I had to check in at Bunak when I arrived and go to the orientation and everything. and. Um, this is like the welcome pack that they give, gave us and so all those papers are in here as well as like flights and just random like letters from Barclays and my Elliot Minor concert ticket and um, my tube map but it got absolutely soaking wet um, and ripped in half and I've kept it anyways. Oh, these are um, my concert tickets to see McFly at the O2 in Manchester. I was really gutted that I didn't end up going, um, but I didn't have the money to get up to Manchester anymore, and so I couldn't go. I guess I should have sold that ticket to someone, but I didn't really have the time to do that either. That's really depressing. <laughs> My Ivy Rise ticket that I never got to use either. Um, God, I should have tried to sell these as well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I bought these when I saw McFly at Shepherd's Bush. Ivy Rise were working the queue, kind of just having everybody listen to their tunes. They're really good, uh, really nice guys as well. And um, I met Mark. I didn't meet the other guys, so I don't know. But Mark was really nice. And um, yeah, I bought tickets to go and see them, and then I ended up 
coming back to Canada right before then because this was for January of 2011 and I left in November of 2010. That's sad. Sniffity, sniffity. Uh oh, this is a Canada um, magnet that my mum gave me before I left. She gave me a bunch of Canada stuff before I left for England and I've kept the magnet in with my England stuff just because just some random stuff. What is that? Oh, Lucy's phone number. Whoop! I hope you guys didn't get to read that. Couldn't read it. Whatever. I can't talk. Oh, that was for a rail card. I really wanted to get one and never got around to it. And then I left. Um, this is my plane ticket to England. Well, the information of it. Yeah. I booked with Air Transit and flew with... Um, Oh gosh, I can't think of it, but I will never fly with them again. Um, oh god, this was a um, Camden pub crawl. Um, and I had a voucher as well. I never went. My Withering Tights book. I still haven't gotten the second one. I really need to get it. Um, London Connections, Rail and Underground Services. This is the big map. I'm going to hang this up on my wall. underground yeah yeah oh my god I have so much stuff in here just random little things that I'd pick up everywhere I loved picking these up I don't know why welcome to London 29 this came with uh, 29 2009 this came with my swap stuff as well uh, even though I went in 2010 but this is the one they gave me and this has a little map in it as well of a London overview Quite a handy little book, actually. Uh, Wilburn Abbey, Cotswold Wildlife, Peterborough. These are all things I never even did, but I actually really wanted to do most of this stuff. Actually, all of it. Um, sea Life Aquarium. Not into sharks, as we all know, but I thought it would be fun. Oh, Events of Palaces. Tells you about all the different things that happen. I Heart UK. My mum got me this as well before I left for England, and I've just kept it like that. I haven't done anything with it yet. Maybe when I get a car, I'll stick it on my car eventually, one day in the future. Um, student survival guide. I'm not a student, but it it came with um, my... I think this Bunek gave me this. That's another Haggis thing. I really wish I could do that. Maybe one day I will go on a Haggis adventure. And there's the Shamrocker adventure or two. Um, yeah. Um... Another thing, uh, just a random thing that Lucy did. I kept all of those, well, most of them. Oh, this is, um, I went to St. Albans to drop off some CVs, and this guy uh, stopped me to join Fitness First, but I never joined, obviously. Some rail cards, and my stub for my plane ticket. All the ink has come off them, I don't know what happened there really annoying. God, I'm liking going through this. Townsend Records, um, that's my receipt for ordering the Party Girl multi-buy, the 7 inch with the 7 inch and everything when I, yeah. Um, this was just a good luck message from someone. It says, good luck in England, Catherine. Hope you have a lovely time there. Always remember who you are and what you stand for. Best wishes, Edith and Jolene. Oh my god, is that the time already? And this is another Good luck wish um, from when I left for my grandmother. Um, it's in French, so I'm not going to read it. Um, I kept this bag from Clinton Cards. I don't know why. There's something in here. Ah, why didn't I ever scratch that? I'm going to scratch it right now. And I won something as well. Ah, I should have scratched it. Unbelievable. This is my fabric pen. Uh, oh god, I can't believe I've kept that in there. This is my um, the Humane Society, Edmonton Humane Society from when I left my cat at the SPCA for when I went to England. I'm still really depressed about that and I'll never ever ever forgive myself for just leaving her there. Ever. Drawings that me and Lucy did. International stamps that I'll never get to use again. 
Um, that was a quiz thing out of a magazine that I did in England. I can't remember what magazine it was. Oh, Thomas Cook. That's, um, yeah, I had to pay for excess baggage. I will never fly with Thomas Cook again. There we go. Um, not because I had to pay for excess baggage, just because I did not have an overall good experience with them. My change of address information. That is my memory box. Oh my gosh, I have to finish doing this and I have to edit this. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!